what is up guys it's your boy medlofa in this video i want to show you everything you need to know about routing in the mixer of fl studio so i'm gonna explain everything the buses the fx sense and everything on how i do it when i'm mixing my songs or when i got a session from my other clients to mix so it's simple guys it's so simple so here we got the master on the master i usually don't do anything but what i usually do let's say i got some vocals maybe or let's say i got a beat so i'm just gonna do this this is gonna be my beat right here i'll make an example let me just drag and drop any beats i have here let me go to my production production beats business 2025 gonna load up this bit of mine so let's say this is our bit i'm gonna just route this thing to this insect right here route to the selected track and i'm just gonna rename this bit straight to the point and give it a color giving a bit a color will help you to be organized. So now let's say I got some vocals, I recorded some vocals and my vocals are right here on maybe track two or my vocals are all over. I'm just gonna go to the mixer, on my mixer, I'll say, right click, rename, and I'll just rename this correction bus. Correction. Lead and give it a color maybe this red color love this red color on my correction lid so this is where i'm gonna put auto tune so i'm gonna put auto tune this is where i'm gonna clean up the vocals maybe i'll use the dsrs any plugin that will help me to clean up the lead vocal and maybe the ns1 like this after that I'll route this track to another insect. You're just gonna have to do this. You're gonna come here and right click and say route to this track on. So you're gonna clean up your vocals here. After cleaning up your vocals here, you're gonna route this correction lead to insect number three. Then you can just rename insect number three, maybe lead vocal mix. I usually rename this my lead tone box, but for this video, I might just call it lead vocal mix or chain, then give it the same color, just like this. So here, as it is routed here, this, this effect here, the plugins here, will also be affected when we insert some plugins here. Let's say I'll put on the compressors and everything. So this is where I'm gonna do that. Right now, we're gonna go to the buses and FX sense. What I usually do is I just highlight from, maybe I got a few vocals. I usually highlight from 25 up to 30. After highlighting that, I'll right click and just go to dock and dock this thing to the right. I'm sure you can see now we got some buses here on the right side. So maybe this is gonna be my reverb, reverb one. And maybe I might put reverb two. Maybe here I might do some parallel compression, P comp. Um, right here maybe i might do some delay then right here maybe i might do some saturation bars then after that i'll just do this i'll just highlight everything and give it a different color let us use blue for this one blue after that i'll lower everything just like this then on my lead vocal mix I'll just do this, I'll route, click here, click here, click here, click here, click here. 
So if I got some reverb here, let me put on any reverb I have right now. The Valhalla plates. So if I wanna put on some reverb, I'll just do this. Reverb number two again. Just gonna use the stock reverb and I'll push it just like this. And some parallel compression, maybe you can use the CLE 76 on that. Do that, do this. Some delay, gonna use the edge delay. You can also just do this on some saturation bus. Gonna use the Abbey Road saturator. You can also do this. After that, if you wanna control your FX buses, you're just gonna highlight everything just like this and route them to index 30, just like this. Click here, route to this track on. So if we turn off this thing, all the effects are gonna be off. By that, by that way, we are gonna organize in a better way. When we wanna turn, turn on the effects, we're just gonna click here. Then you can just rename this FX sends on and off and give it a different color, maybe a yellow color, just like that. So let's say you got some background vocals again. So on your background vocals, you can just do this and say correction. BGV. So this chain is gonna be for the background vocals. You can give this one a different color maybe. But if you want the same color, you can give it the same color. But let me just use this color for my background vocals. After that, I'll do the same thing and route this correction BGV to insect number five. Route to this track only, just like this. So right here, we're gonna rename this BGV vocal mix and give it the same color as the correction BGV. So when I, when I correct my BGVs here, I'm definitely gonna mix them right here. If you wanna put the same reverbs or the same parallel compression on your BGV, you can also just do this. Click here. If you don't wanna use this one, you cannot click it. And also click here, click here, click here. Yeah. But if you feel like you don't wanna use the same FX passes on your background vocals, you can just do this. Do this. Maybe you wanna use uh, three buses for your background vocals. You can just count here, we're on number 30. So we're gonna do 31, 32, and 33. And dock to the right. So right now, these buses here are for the background vocals. Maybe we're gonna say reverb. And maybe P comp. Maybe we can also say uh, wide doubler. And we're also gonna include this here, dock to the right. And we're gonna rename this FX sense BGV on and off. Give it the same color like this. Now we're gonna hide highlight these ones and route them to the strike on and you're gonna lower them after that you're gonna go to your pgv vocal mix and do this do this do this let us also give these ones a color blue so it's easy if you wanna turn off the effect of your background vocals you can just do this the effect will be off by that way you can listen to the background vocals without any effect yeah, it's super simple, guys. I hope this video was helpful. And another thing, if you wanna control all your vocals, 
in one section if you want to turn off all your vocals in just one bus you can just do this let us go to insect number 35 we're gonna dock this one to the left right here and we're just gonna say all vocals on and off let us give it a different color maybe this color so right now as this thing is routed here we're gonna just unroute it from the master and route it to the all vocals on and off right here the lead vocal mix you also gonna go to the bgv and route it from the master and route it here then you're gonna go to your fx send on and off you're gonna unroute it to the master and route it here also on the fx send on the bgv you're gonna unroute it on the master and route it here by the way if you turn off this thing all the vocals are gonna be off you're only gonna hear the beat because the beat is routed to the master let us create another bus for the beat so we're gonna go to insect number 36 and dock this one to the left gonna say instrumental bus on and off give it the same color now you're gonna just route your beat to this so if you turn off this the beat is gonna be off then if you wanna route if you don't wanna use the master for your mix bus you can also create another bus where you can like experiment with your mix bus so we're gonna go to insect number 37 I hope you guys are understanding everything if you don't understand you can comment down below I will explain yeah we're just gonna dock this one to the left and we're gonna call this bus vocals and beat give it a different color green then we're gonna route the all vocals on and off instrumental bass on and off gonna route this to this vocal and beat bass on so right here if we turn off this thing everything will be off then you can just experiment put on some compressors here just to glue the track together after gluing the track together you can go ahead and use the master to push the loudness of your track yeah i hope this video was helpful guys i'ma make sure i leave the link of this routing down below for free i hope it's gonna be helpful to you guys medlofa is out Danko.